There are many kinds of music. Some are old and some are new. There are symphonies and overtures, sonatas and octets. There are rondos and concertos. There are fugues and string quartets. But of all these kinds of music, there is one that I like best. It's not grunge and it's not garage, it's not rock or pop or soul, but the music I invented, it's the greatest of them all. Opera. Whatever music can compare, we call it opera. There's always magic in the air, so just listen to the music and you'll find out of the blue that the ABC of operas for me. Hi everyone, I've got a story to tell you. A story that is 500 years old. Let's go and start. Chapter One, The Mystery of the Music Hall. Across the bridge and up the winding road that climbs high above the village of Pont Rigor Canal stands a sad, boarded up music hall. It once filled the heart of the villagers with joy and laughter, but these days only the wind rattles and stirs the eerie old building. <gasps> Best friends, Jack and Megan, were determined to discover its mysteries. They approached and peered through the rusty, spiky gates. There was no going back now. Megan, are you crazy? This is a terrible idea. Let's go home, urged Jack. Jack, come on. Don't be such a scaredy cat, Megan said, tugging at his arm. But, 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 but what if there are ghosts inside? Jack asked. Boo, shouted Megan. Megan, stop it, cried Jack. Come on. Your gran says it's 150 years old and full of stories and treasure. Let's investigate. And so with curiosity egging them on, the children climbed over the rickety gate, tiptoed up to the imposing but fragile front door and pushed it open with a loud squeal. <coughs> they tentatively stepped inside their hearts pounding like large timpani drums. Boom! 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 This is so spooky, said Megan, stepping into the shadowy half-light of the building. Too spooky for me, I'm going. Jack turned to leave, but his foot found a loose rotten floorboard. Whoa! Ah! Help! Megan turned and reached out to save a BFF, but it was too late. Whoosh! Down, down, down they fell, waking, shrunk, the music hall's only resident. Surely they would break an arm, a leg, or bruise a toe at least. But what happened was astonishing, almost as if he'd been expecting them. Trunk opened his lid to catch the pair who tumbled in. Jack, are you all right? asked Megan. I think so, answered Jack, in a daze. Aha! At last, humans! Who said that? whispered Megan. It's a g -g 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 ghost, shuddered Jack. Well, I'm beginning to believe I'd been forgotten forever. But then I opened my lid when I heard you calling for help. The children looked at each other, then down at the trunk. The, the, the trunk is talking, said Megan flabbergasted. Talking? interrupted Truck. 
In fact, I speak 43 languages. My favourite is Chamachuro. Only eight of us left now, sadly. I've been waiting for someone to rescue me, and it's you two. The children couldn't believe what was happening. Let me explain, Trunk continued. Forty years ago, at the end of the last performance in this music hall, I was accidentally locked away down here in the basement. Since then, I've been all alone. Oh, such a long wait. Well, 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 never mind all that. You're here now, and we've no time to waste, not even a heavy demi-semi quaver. We need to travel at supernumeral speed. To the children's astonishment, Trunk appeared to fire up a pair of engines beneath him, and with a mighty huff and a puff, and what sounded like a large fart, excuse me, he propelled himself up through the broken floorboards, out of the open door, and into the starlit sky, with his rescuers hanging on for dear life. Oh, I'm all discombobulated. It's been so long since I flew. Where are my headlights? Oh, Trunk yawned, narrowly missing a passing bird. Meow. Put us down now, Trunk, Megan shouted. Oh, no time, sorry. I have to get home. Home? Jack asked worryingly. We live down there, and we've got school in the morning, insisted Megan. Oh, plus we don't have our passports. Trunk laughed. <laughs> no passports needed. We're off to the land of pasta and pizza. Mm. Where? asked Jack. The country shaped like a boot. Where I was made, Trunk said. Italy, squealed Megan. Yes. And where we'll find the A, B, C, said Trunk. The A, B, C, questioned the children. Oh, the A, B, C of opera, of course. Now buckle up, said Trunk. And two seat belts flew over the children's shoulders. Clunk, click. And Trunk began to sing. <clears throat> where did it all begin? <laughs> The stories and the glories of the opera. It's the ABC, oh, the ABC, the ABC of opera. Chapter 2 The Academy. Anybody can give me an A. a. Give me a B. A B. Give me a C, a C, a C, a C, a C. Give me a C, a C, a C, a C, a C. Give me a B. Give me a C, a C, a C, a C, a C. Give me a C, a C, a C, a C, a C.